On this video, we're going to have a brief overview of the main menu on the left-hand column of your triple seat screen. Once familiar with the menu, you can toggle it over to just icons to save space. First is the dashboard. The dashboard is where you're going to land when you first log in or just checking in for the day. Here we'll show any incoming leads, which you can adjust to seven or 30 days or six months. You will be able to click on any spike of leads and you can produce a quick mini report of those leads, which you can further adjust. For the event forecast, you can view next seven days, 30 days or six months, and also produce a quick report of those events. Any fresh new leads that haven't been viewed yet will show here. If you have sales goals set, you can see the progress here. You have a mini calendar view for quick reference, which you can click on those days and be brought to the day view of that calendar day. Below that, you have events coming up in the next seven days. You can filter those and jump into those events from here. And then any running tasks that you have, which you can also filter. Now your calendar. You can view by month, week, day, or timeline. You can select the month and year from here or jump right to today. The calendar can be filtered by status, locations, rooms, owners, and colored by room, location, or status. And then you have your advanced filters if you want to get nitty gritty. On each day of your calendar, you have a note tab that can be used to communicate things about that day or block out certain rooms and times. On the bottom right of your calendar, you can select export, which will give you directions how to export your triple seat calendar to any of your other calendars. The GRC, your guest room control. This is where you will be able to check your guest room and event space availability. You can view by days, weeks, or month, and jump to a certain date. You can also filter and isolate the area you were reviewing accordingly. You will also be able to create bookings by dragging across the time frame on the event space row. The leads page. You'll be able to see what's been converted, not converted, turned down, and deleted within a certain date range. And you have your filters over on the right. Whatever list of leads you come up with, you can then export that into an Excel file to print or email along. It's important to remember that bookings are the container that holds the events, but your bookings and events tabs will be similar. Although some of the filters will differ, they will operate the same. Once you have a list of events or bookings that you are interested in, you can export that list into an Excel file or if you're in events, you can batch print documents through the date range set. Your tasks are going to show outstanding and overdue, and you can add additional tasks on the fly here. With contacts and accounts, you'll be able to search by name, phone number, and email. And don't forget that you can always search through everything by going to this top search bar and entering whatever information you remember about that booking or event. The report section. This will bring you to our standard reporting, where you can select from the customizable graphs to produce reports, view and customize preset reports, and create custom reports off the bat, or go into your advanced reporting.